All right, first off, if you want to become truly successful, you guys must understand one thing. You are not selling real estate. You're fulfilling dreams, right? Every client has a unique set of fears, a unique set of hopes, and a unique set of must-haves in their deal. Understanding these <laughs> is, is like the treasure map. It's the pathway. It's going to guide you all the way to the closing. So you must understand them. How you do that, the communication is the magic ticket in our world. Everybody talks about the magic bullet. Communication is the magic bullet, if you will, for us. Knowing how to actively listen, knowing how to clearly talk, knowing how to negotiate will build a bridge of trust. When that client feels heard and understood, they're more likely to follow your lead, making every interaction positive for you and constructive that's going to lead you right to the closing. Now, there are challenges that are part of this game. So learning to navigate those hurdles with a cool head and professionalism is going to be the key to becoming a top tier realtor. All right. Turn those challenges into opportunities and your clients will think you have superpowers. Trust me, building trust and credibility is like having a superpower. Trust me, <laughs> when clients believe in you, they because you get to become their go-to guide through this ride of a property transaction. So trust me on that, all right? So here are some key reasons on why you want to counsel your client. Number one, every client has a unique set of circumstances or needs. Counseling allows you to dig deep into their concerns, into their preferences, into their desires, all of this. That understanding, once you know that, that sets the blueprint for you to tailor your services specifically to that client, ensuring that you meet their individual requirements perfectly, all right? Number two, effective communication. Mastering the art of listening. Now, I've said this before. We're going to talk about it several different times. Active listening and articulate communication is like having that superpower that we've talked about. But here's the great thing. It's legal and ethical. Just do it. There are a lot of agents that don't listen. All right. Strong communication will build rapport with your client. That rapport, or that strong communication will build trust. When trust comes along, they will then do what you tell them to do in a scenario where you have the experience. Another reason is it, uh, navigating challenges with grace. Real estate comes with its fair challenges. How do you handle them set you apart? We all know that there are many agents out there with hot heads, they yell and scream. I remember one time I had an agent yell at me and I literally hung up on him and I called him back about 10 minutes later. I'm like, look, dude, it's not my offer. It's not your listing. You know, I'm sorry you don't like the offer, but it's not your decision. Take that to your client. If you guys want to yell and argue back and forth, go ahead, but don't yell at me. Right. We have to stay calm and cool. We are supposed to be cooperating brokers. So counseling equips you to face those unexpected hurdles with composure, turning those problems into opportunities, and at the same time, showcasing how professional you are. It, number four, it builds trust. Trust is the currency of real estate with us, and counseling is the way to earn that currency. I told you that, building trust. If your client trusts you, they will listen to you. And if they listen to you, that's because you listen to them. Clients gravitate towards realtors who are transparent. They hold integrity. They follow ethical practices. That is what forms the foundation for your reputation. 
you must protect that at all times. Another reason is it enhances the client's experience. From the initial moment you talk to them to the closing of the deal, all this counseling that you will provide will help orchestrate a seamless experience for them and giving them great user inner inner what is the interface UI is that the computer term? It also helps with anticipating their needs, right? Because you now understand what their needs or their desires are. Number six, it builds long-term loyalty. Counseling builds a relationship way beyond a one and done kind of thing. And in this business, we want to build these lasting relationships because people are going to buy more than one house. The other part of loyalty is the referral part, because if a client trusts you and likes you and you become their go-to person for all of these reasons we've just mentioned, they're more likely to refer you to another friend of theirs, family member of anything else. And the last reason you guys want to do this, believe it or not, is because it's going to differentiate you from a crowded market. I mean, look around. I mean, we're thinning out a little bit, but you understand we can drive a golf ball in any direction and bounce it off nine real estate agents, right? How many of those are actually good? So this is going to be something that can set you apart because of your counseling skills. It demonstrates your commitment to understanding the client, to listening to the client, making them feel heard, addressing their needs, and points you out as a key trusted advisor among all the other fly-by-night people, okay? So in a nutshell, counseling isn't just a skill. It's actually an art, and you guys need to get better, and you can get better by practicing.